Travel advisories, one of our top stories this morning, one of the top destinations for Canadians to travel is the UK. The Omicron variant charging through the population there this morning. That country has just reported its highest number of cases in a single day since the pandemic began. Even the Queen has been forced to change her Christmas plans as a result. Let's go to Tessa Arcilia, who has all of the details in London. Tessa, the big number, first of all, if you would. Yes, let's start with that, shall we, Heather? It's 78,610 new COVID cases recorded yesterday, Wednesday. As you say, the highest number daily of in daily infections since the pandemic began. And this is largely driven by the fast-spreading Omicron variant. I mean, at the moment, um, the authorities are saying that it, there are about 10,000 recorded uh, cases of, uh, of COVID with the Omicron variant. But the thing is, they're sampling uh, just a small portion of that so the actual number could be much higher but what we do know is that it's exponentially spreading and I quote uh, Chris Whitty the chief medical advisor here who is calling talking about huge uncertainties and calling it moving at an absolutely phenomenal pace and I think this is really where the worry lies for a lot of people still they're pushing the booster program we're still seeing lines outside uh, vaccination centers here but take a listen to what Chris Whitty had to say about what's happening here this is a really serious threat at the moment. The, how big a threat? There are several things we don't know, but all the things that we do know are bad. And the principal one being the speed at which this is moving. It is moving at an absolutely phenomenal pace. And therefore, between the time that it first starts to uh, really take off in a way people will be able to see, uh, and the point uh, when uh, we get to very, very, very large numbers will be quite a short one. And that, I think, is part of the issue. Yeah, talking about large numbers, Heather, he also said that this uh, variant could actually bring the peak uh, very soon, quite fast. He won't, he can't tell when, but he said it seems to be quite fast. And he said it's not impossible that about a million people could be isolating with COVID by Christmas Day. Now, that is really exponential. And so they were trying not to give government advice on what to do this. Christmas, not to be too intrusive, but basically saying try not to socialize with people you don't absolutely have to see and try to choose your priorities is the guidance that the government is giving. Heather? You know, even the Queen isn't seeing her own family members. We're hearing that she has changed her holiday plans, Tessa. Exactly. And that, that's been the question for the last few days, uh, given uh, this Omicron variant, where we were wondering whether she would go ahead with it. So the decision was made today that those plans are cancelled. Actually, preparations we hear have already been put in place. But because of the situation in the country, just as a precaution, that's what we understand. They've just cancelled this as normally, you know, her bringing together her children, grandchildren and great grandchildren. Uh, and, and this is the second time that this is not going ahead as it has been in the last uh, in, in many years. Now, the also changing plans are a lot of people who have f plans to go to France because, Heather, France has imposed restrictions on travelers coming from the UK. So starting on Saturday, if you have tickets going to France, if you're not a French citizen, you will not be able to enter. And if you don't have a compelling reason or if it is a non-essential uh, trip. So a lot of people I know have been scrambling today, Heather, trying to change those plans. You've been talking about it all day. This is really uh, a lot of there's really a lot of uncertainty with this Omicron variant and Christmas. Heather. Tessa, thank you very much. Tessa Arcilia with the UK picture from London.